A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 14:25 to 33. At that time great crowds were traveling with Jesus and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel, whether he is able with ten thousand to meet him who comes against him with twenty thousand? And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends an embassy and asks terms of peace. So therefore, whoever of you does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel we see a big crowd was following Jesus as he was making his final journey to Jerusalem. His apostles and the common people thought that the master was going to overthrow the Roman government by using miraculous powers. Therefore Jesus felt compelled to explain to them the true price of following him, the cost of becoming a Christian followers. Luke challenges us to make a total commitment to the will of God by putting him first in our lives. He reminds us to count the cost of being a Christian because the cost is high. Christian discipleship requires one to renounce both possessions of the earth and possessions of the heart or one's relationships. Jesus lays out four tripwires challenging true Christian discipleship. First attachment to family. Second attachment to possessions. Three, the hard consequences of discipleship which may involve even losing one's life. Fourth, the cost involved. Using the examples of a watchtower in a vineyard, left uncompleted due to lack of funds, and the example of a foolish king facing defeat by going to war without assessing the strength of the enemy, Jesus warns his would-be followers to count the cost and calculate the consequences before becoming his disciples. We need to accept Jesus' challenge of making a total self-gift to him in our commitment in true Christian discipleship. Jesus' challenge can be accepted only if, with God's grace, we practice the spirit of detachment and renunciation in our daily lives. Real Christian discipleship also demands a true commitment both to the duties entrusted to us and to loving acts of selfless, humble, sacrificial love offered to all God's children around us. Dan, this is possible only if we rely on His grace, on the power of prayer and on the guidance of the Holy Spirit through a. Daily prayer b. Devout participation in the Sunday Mass c. Diligent study of the Bible d. Service in and beyond the parish e. Spiritual friendships and f. Giving time, talents, and resources to the Lord's work let us strive to live in the spirit of Jesus. May God bless you and Jesus Christ loves you.